Hello, in this video we're going to calculate the industry supply curve and find where there is a kink in it. Consider the supply of Firm 1 and Firm 2 given by the following. The quantity supplied of Firm 1 is going to be a function of its price and that equals P minus 4. And the quantity supplied of Firm 2, which is going to be the function of the price, is going to be P minus 6. What price does the industry supply curve have a kink in it? First note that Firm 1 will not supply the product unless the price is greater than $4. If the price is $3, the quantity supplied here will be 0. If the price is $4, the quantity supplied here of the first firm will be 0. If the price is $5, finally we get a positive value. The quantity supplied will be 1. Firm 2 will not supply the product unless the price is greater than $6. If the price is $5, the quantity supplied here is going to be 0. If the price is $6, the quantity supplied will be 0. Unless the price goes above $6, the quantity supplied will be 0. Firm 1 will be the sole supplier up to a price of $6. Once the price rises above $6, Firm 2 will begin to supply the product. Therefore, the kink in the industry supply curve occurs at a price of $6. Any price after $6, higher than $6, Firm 2 will enter the market, and we'll see here in a moment that that's where the kink in the industry supply curve will take place. So just rewriting here, Firm 1 supply, replacing the left-hand side with Firm 1's quantity supplied, calling that Y subscript 1. And if we're to solve that for P, we have Firm 1's inverse supply. And doing a similar thing for Firm 2, replacing the left-hand side with the quantity supplied or Y subscript 2 for Firm 2. And solving for P, we have Firm 2's inverse supply. Graphing both of these functions, these inverse supply equations, we can see the vertical intercept for Firm 1 occurs at 4. And since there's a 1 on this Y term, the slope is just 1. Firm 2 has a vertical intercept of 6. Price goes above 6, then Firm 2 will be bringing a positive quantity supplied to the market. And the slope here is also 1. The industry supply, if the price is greater than or equal to $6, will be as follows. We get 2P minus 10. And again, this occurs if price is greater than or equal to 6. If price is $6, for example, the total industry supply here will be 2 units. And if price is less than 6, the only firm in this market bringing a quantity to the market will be firm 1. And so the industry supply curve at a price less than or equal to $6 will just be represented by firm 1's supply equation. Now to graph that, as before we saw Firm 2 supply and Firm 1 supply, the kink here occurs at a price of $6. So at a price of $6, anything rising above that, Firm 2 will enter the market bringing a positive quantity to the, to the market. The industry supply curve will be illustrated by this red line here, these two red arrows.